Noah Verta im Adi Sha'al Shalom and welcome to Culture Buzz. It's a great pleasure being here with you. This is the base of Vertigo, which is much more than your regular dance company. And we are here to learn more about it. So how did it all start? Wow. <laughs> Actually, it started when uh, Adi and me met 20 years ago. Exactly, 20 years. Uh, I saw this handsome guy entering the studio and uh, all the dancers were like, okay, what's happening? And I, after two weeks, I think we had a great roman and we created this very naive duet. We named it Vertigo because Adi was in the Israeli Air Force. He was in the pilot uh, like for two or three years. So we named the first creation Vertigo. And then everything started, my God. <laughs> you want my version? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think today we, think we look at Vertigo as a positive way. On a, well, as a positive uh, concept, taking the, the concept of dizziness and losing control into optimistic way of thinking and uh, having the privilege to invent ourselves each day uh, as new. And Noah is doing it today more in the creation, in the studio. I'm juggling, doing magic with the numbers and the figures. But uh, to have a dance company of uh, 10 or 15 dancers and uh, in, Jer in two centers, one in Jerusalem and one in the countryside, which we call Eco Art vi Village. This is a privilege in Israel. So today when uh, one says uh, Vertigo in Israel and abroad, because I know you are touring quite successfully abroad and being highly appreciated as you deserve, the word vertigo today here and in other places will be associated mainly with brilliant dancing, being green, and helping those who are less fortunate or connecting with the... Amen. <laughs> connecting with those who are not as healthy as we would like them to be. And there was a, a recent uh, prize that you have won, working with the disabled. Rodelman Prize. Right. We, we were lucky to, to get recognition from Rodelman family. And the Rodelman Foundation gave us a award for the integrated work that we do, integrating disabled and non-disabled people together in the dance. So there, is a, there are two people in the company, Noah's sister Tali and Chai, which is a, he's a dancer in, in a wheelchair, and they are constantly doing uh, leading workshops for uh, mix, uh, mixed abilities in people that are, have um, different uh, disabilities, physical disabilities and mental disabilities together with dancers, uh, uh, let's call them healthy, but uh, we, we're not sure who's healthy here. So uh, this is a great uh, learning for all of us, and uh, we are happy to have this branch in Vertigo for now 12 years, uh, constantly beside the professional dance company. That was the, the price. Fantastic. And here comes the, the difficult question. And I apologize in advance. Let's go to the <laughs> If you had to describe your work in words, how would you do it? In movement. <laughs> in movement, in movement, it's easy. Opacity. Describe. Because you have your own unique language. It's uh, very interesting because uh, 
few years ago, I couldn't describe uh, that I do have a language because it's something only if you have perspective of time, you can uh, realize uh, like the development of your own creation, your own language. I can say, ah, okay, because I have enough creations to say, ah, this is my source, this is my uh, path. And, slowly, slowly I can grasp it and understand it in my mind because I work so much intuitively and uh, not so much plan uh, as a creator. So really it took me many years, like opposite, to understand what does exist and what is this language. And today I can uh, recognize it and start like uh, building it up more conscious with the conscience. And another question. A bit difficult too, I apologize. Mm. Normally, we'd like to think about the arts, dance included, as being some kind of a universal language that everybody can relate to. What makes your work, in addition to being universal, Israeli as well? Yeah, it is. You know, everyone, where we go to perform abroad, it's like, what's happening there in Israel? Like, first of all, why is the modern dance so popular and so well done? And sometimes I think because uh, we have a young country and we don't have a background of the ballet and this opera, so we are really fresh. We are open and we are more free from the history. Sometimes history is good and sometimes it's sitting on you and it's heavy and you cannot develop so I think this and as well the energy. And the chutzpah. Yeah, uh, I think Israelis, we are living in the Mediterranean area. We have a very hot uh, temper. We're not calm, <laughs> like uh, in Europe, for example. And we have less patience. You can see the driving in uh, each country. But it's... Uh, yeah, it's something coming from the guts. And I think for the arts it's good. We have what to say, where to put out our <laughs> passion and aggressive sometimes. And I think it's good for the movement. And uh, it's really special because everybody knows that Israeli dancers are really very strong dancers. Very, and it's like a well known in the world. Which okay. explains the success of Israeli modern dance all over the world, especially in Europe, but not only. No, all over the, all over the world. America, everywhere we go, they're really, they, they're coming to auditions, they want to come to Israel, they want to study here. Even we had now here a summer course uh, for students. We normally have a master class, okay, so 20 people come, or more from abroad, more professional. But the summer course is for young uh, youth, you know, like uh, high school. And we had a few from abroad. We were shocked that they just arrived for the course. We are used to, you know, people from uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. So it's becoming like a really international uh, value. We're even uh, opening a Massa uh, mm. course now, which is a, a journey. A journey, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and which is a training program for dancers to come to Israel for five months or ten months and uh, come to Jerusalem and learn together with Israeli students. Uh, the language of Noah and Vertigo and to dance and to learn some to see the country so it's, it's, a, it's really a way of exploring Israel and the dance in Israel you know some people from Massa that in the previous uh, programs that stay in the country and even got jobs in the, in the company in our auditions so it's uh, really a way to bring people to see the country in, through the art What can we wish Vertigo for the future? <laughs> what can we wish Adi. the world? <laughs> I thought you were asking, what can we wish Israel and the, and the world to be a better place for people to, to be more soft and understanding? This is obvious. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same, I think, for us. It's, uh, if, 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 we can, uh, if we as Vertigo can can contribute something to, be, to make this world a better place to dance, that people will dance, uh, not only in, in the studio, but also in, the, in their everyday life. This is our 
wish that more and more people will be more shalom with each other. My wish. That's your wish, not me. Uh, wow, that's a difficult one for me. <laughs> it's okay, we have time. <laughs> uh, no, they won't. I think I would wish uh, that uh, Vertigo will continue the same way we work till now, based in Jerusalem and continuing in the village, continuing creating, speaking with the arts, talking about humanity, exploring, working with disabilities, working with the land, appreciating the ecological uh, point of view and making uh, more awareness. And the deeper, like, um, uh, deeper connection to, to ourselves. Wonderful. So we wish you all that <sighs> and more and would like uh, to thank you because now that I think of it, uh, up till 20 years ago when people said vertigo, <laughs> Most of them thought of two things, pilots and Hitchcock. And now, thanks to you <laughs> and your wonderful, rich and diverse activity, Vertigo became to symbolize so much in so many fields. So, thank you, good luck and shalom. <laughs>